City South today. And it is beautiful. It is beautiful. very vibrant. There. It's lovely, yes. isn't it? The colour as well. And well done to all those uh, dedicated volunteers who created it. Now, let's get on to the weather because I thought it was cold and horrible today. But if it's you thought going to get worse tomorrow. Oh, yes. Tomorrow's going to be the coldest day of the week. In some places, temperatures will still be below freezing during the daylight hours. <laughs> yes, it's going to be very cold indeed, but more about that in just a second. Gary Holden has captured the cloudy skies today from Portland. Dita Valerius took this picture of Titchfield Abbey. That looks nice. And Anthony Morris photographed a pied wagtail in Farmore in Oxfordshire. Today we had a good deal of clouds, some outbreaks of rains, wintry showers as well, but also some bright and sunny spells. This scene of snow falling in Mollington was photographed in Oxfordshire by one of our weather watchers. As I said, tomorrow is going to be a bitterly cold day. There will be some lingering freezing fog patches, but we're hoping for some bright and sunny spells to develop as the day wears on. The mist and fog will start to form overnight tonight. It will become very dense in a few places. Away from the mist and fog, one or two clear spells and a widespread frost. Lows in some areas of minus 4 to minus 5 Celsius. Most places will be at or below freezing. So a cold, frosty start to the day tomorrow, lingering mist and fog. In some places, that mist and fog could linger through much of the day. But where it does thin and break, the cloud and the mist, we will start to see some sunny spells. Temperatures tomorrow, though, will struggle to arrive high of around 1 to 3 degrees in some places remaining at or below freezing. On the inshore waters tomorrow, that's from Selseyville to Lyme Regis. The winds are northerly three or four. The visibility is good. There is a chance of showers and the sea state is smooth or slight. Tomorrow night, the mist and fog will reform in some areas. Once again, it's going to be freezing fog with temperatures below freezing down to around minus two Celsius out in the countryside. So quite a lot of cloud to start the day on Friday. Friday, we're keeping a close eye on because there is the chance of some sleet and snow showers in some places, particularly for western parts of the region from this weather front but that front could move further eastwards at the moment we're expecting maybe one or two centimeters of snow over the Cotswolds and even Salisbury Plain as that weather front skirts its way south and westwards even some wintry showers over higher ground in Dorset with that, that rain moving through. So quite a lot to talk about over the next few days in terms of cold weather, but it starts to turn a lot less cold as we head into next week. The seasonal average for January is around 7 to 8 degrees. So as you can see, into next week, temperatures will be above that. But before that, we do have some sunshine. The best day this week is Saturday, dry and crisp with a frost in the morning, slightly more cloud on Sunday. Sally. So stay at home, watch television, listen to radio. There you go, you got yeah, it made, haven't you? Exactly. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, a little kindness can go a long way, can't it? And tomorrow we're going to be hearing from local volunteers helping the vulnerable in their communities once again. So be with us for that. Keep yourself safe, won't you? We're here tomorrow. Good night. Good night.